Final bosses or the final person you have to defeat in WWE games are usually quite mixed up. It's hard enough to find a superstar being the final boss more than once in WWE games. There are, however, a few of them. One of them being quite obvious, Vince McMahon. The evil boss himself. Makes sense. I've done that video before a few years ago. And the other one being The Undertaker. So let's go through those times that The Undertaker was the final boss in WWE games. In WWE All-Stars Path of Champions mode, you can choose to go down the Undertaker path. If you've never played All-Stars before, then the Path of Champions is a series of 10 matches that you have to go through to get to the final boss. One of those final bosses being the Undertaker. When you start off Undertaker's Path of Champions, you'll see this intro. As you progress through the path of champions, you will eventually see another scene with The Undertaker and Paul Bearer. Oh yes! Welcome back! Welcome back to my funeral parlor! We've been expecting you! My Undertaker has been working night and day on something special just for you. Do you like it? It's so beautiful! We used only the finest materials. You will look so natural, so at peace, when my undertaker puts you in the casket at SummerSlam! I am the most unforgiving force in the WWE. At SummerSlam, hell will be unleashed your soul will be mine, and this coffin will become your final resting place. Your time is running out! Oh, yes! And I've already written the epitaph for your tombstone! Here lies another victim of The Undertaker! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Oh! And once you've completed all the matches, you will see this final scene before the match takes place. Oh yes! Judgment Day is here! Your casket is finished! Just in time for SummerSlam! Just in time for your final day on Earth! You're scared! Oh yes! I can see it in your eyes! You, my friend, are scared of the great beyond. But the end comes for you tonight, as it comes for everyone. Everyone except my Undertaker! From the moment you chose to challenge me at SummerSlam, your days were numbered. Now your end is here. Do not fear the end. 
pray for it, for it is inevitable. Tonight, I will reach into your chest, tear your soul from your body, and cast it into the abyss. And then, I shall place your rotting, putrid flesh in this casket, and you will rest in peace. Now you'll finally face off against the final boss, The Undertaker. Weirdly enough, at SummerSlam, you would have thought that this would be a WrestleMania match with how much you had to go through to get to The Undertaker. He's done it! He has beat the Phenom in his signature match! I never thought I'd live to see the day when the dead man is laid to rest. Don't be so sure, King. If we've learned anything about The Undertaker after all these years, it's that he isn't bound to the laws of nature like you and me. He might be celebrating tonight, but you have to believe vengeance is waiting just around the corner. Another former Undertaker foe has been vanquished. And this time, it was even a member of Undertaker's family. You have proven yourself worthy. At WrestleMania, I will take your soul and add it to those I have sacrificed over the years. I'm more than worthy to face you, dead man. You and your fat little puppet have tried to put me through hell, to freak me out, to throw me off my game, but none of it has worked. I hope you're ready, Undertaker, because at WrestleMania, your streak will die. SmackDown vs Raw 2011 included a Road to WrestleMania storyline about facing The Undertaker. As the weeks go on, The Undertaker will keep playing mind games with you until you finally face him one on one at WrestleMania. The match definitely feels a lot tougher in comparison to the other final matches in SmackDown vs Raw 2011's Road to WrestleMania mode. And for quite a few players, the ending that they got was where The Undertaker defeated you and you was turned into one of Undertaker's druids. If you did, however, defeat The Undertaker, then you would have seen this ending. The greatest streak in WWE history has been broken. Undertaker has lost at WrestleMania. This unlikely challenger endured months of torture to get here, but he made history on this night. Undertaker. I have all the respect in the world for you, Undertaker. You are truly one of the greatest WWE has ever seen. But after tonight, you and your streak will rest in peace. He let him go! I don't think Undertaker has ever shown anyone as much respect as he did right there. you're looking at a brand new legend in the ring right now. Oh, don't let his size fool you. Mysterio can do it all in there and has scored victories over some of the largest, most powerful figures in sports entertainment history. Continuing on with The Undertaker and his WrestleMania streak, nothing felt more like a final boss fight in any WWE game than The Undertaker in Defeat the Street Mode. 
in WWE 2K14. You start the match off by staring down The Undertaker, and then one of the hardest matches in WWE games ever begins. The Undertaker isn't your normal hard difficulty fight. Sure, there's a lot of normal reversing, but he will do so much more than that. You can sometimes get put into a submission or set up for a chokeslam if you grapple The Undertaker whilst he's on the ground, which can be a match ending scenario, so you do have to be careful of your grapples. Also, at any point during the match, the lights can go off and The Undertaker will appear behind you with a finisher stored. Truly a final boss fight with that kind of cheapness. If you are the world champion on Raw going into WrestleMania in SmackDown vs Raw season mode, then you'll go up against SmackDown's WWE Champion, The Undertaker, at WrestleMania to unify both titles and have one undisputed champion. In the lead up to the match, you will have some confrontations with The Undertaker backstage. Trish, there you are. Come on, it's time to go. What are you doing wasting your time with this jerk anyway? Come on, Trish, we're leaving. See you around, champ. And then when you finally get to WrestleMania, you'll have one more final confrontation with The Undertaker. You are just moments away from the biggest match of your life. Champ, I gotta ask you, how are you feeling? I'm sorry to hear that, because that's exactly what I'm going for. And that means you're in for a very disappointing evening. May the best man win. My playthrough didn't go so well, and I ended up losing the final match to The Undertaker. So in the final scene, it was The Undertaker celebrating his newly won Undisputed Championship with some of the SmackDown roster. And lastly, this one is quite different for one big reason. You are the final boss. Yep, that's right. Now hear me out on this one. In SmackDown vs Raw 2009, you can go through Raw to WrestleMania mode as The Undertaker. The Undertaker is undefeated at WrestleMania at this point and is pretty much invincible to beat. The Boogeyman and his team of Santino Morella and Finlay do all that they can to make The Undertaker beatable, but fail to do so. And if you want further proof that you are the boss in this fight, just watch The Undertaker preparing for his WrestleMania match. Tell me that doesn't give off some serious final boss battle vibes there. Now the match happens and you completely destroy the Boogeyman with ease and send him off never to be seen again, I think. So that was the times that The Undertaker was the final boss in WWE games. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to give it a like, subscribe with those notifications turned on and I'll see you all on the next video.